Probably definitely gonna go up to here. I just gotta figure out how to do that with this connector right here. So stay tuned for that. Welcome back to a new video. My name is Derek, and today we're gonna be finishing up the fender that I've been working on on the passenger side. So I've got it all opened up again. I wanna go ahead and spray um, some paint primer all up in here, all underneath, because these will be folded in. So I'm gonna leave these alone. I'm gonna point the can, kind of spray back in here. Um, have this opened up, I'm gonna spray down here, hopefully getting down to here. I do have it prepped for welding the plate on, so we're gonna be doing that right after. Uh, need some paint back there, the plate's gonna go right here where the rust was, and then we're gonna fold over this corner. We're gonna leave this flat as well. And then back here, we'll be tucking it back up. This will go over the top, and then we're gonna weld plate along there, and then we'll be doing our Bondo today too. So, here we go. All right, so we got it all painted up, and I mainly painted it so that this under part would have some kind of coating on it. So right here, when this gets folded up, um, that's gonna be coated, get all the tips and everything like that that I've been working on, cutting the bare metal. Um, don't worry about the overspray because we, we've got big plans for doing all the fenders, the bottom trim, so that's coming really soon right after this, but um, this is just some Walmart metal flake that I've been using. I use it on the sliders and it actually is pretty dang close to the right color But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and fold all this back up and then I'm gonna get my plate That I have my thin metal and uh, my sheet metal. I'm gonna go ahead and cut cut out a piece to go here So we're gonna be tacking along this side and tacking above and then we're gonna fold it over and weld that and then this will be Bondo along here, so to kind of get rid of this, uh, make it watertight, and we'll get everything painted. So we're gonna tuck everything away, get the panels cut out. We're gonna be doing that weld, and you'll see here in a second we're gonna be welding up sheets right here too. So that's another reason I want to paint this side because that will be tucked under the metal that we're painting. So just make sure everything that is gonna be exposed or any exposed metals is covered. So.
that's pretty much all there is to it. This time I decided to use a jigsaw um, instead of the cutoff wheel that I use on the other side. It's just a little bit easier to do the turns and not as intense. Um, I really don't like the cutoff wheel, especially on an angle like that. But they got it done with the other side, as you can see from the lot from this video. Um, went through, did the sheet metal to fill the gaps, um, took out some rust, and then also did some bondo. And I've got an idea, and I've got some supplies as far as paint, bed liner, so I'm just trying to wrap this side up. But it's supposed to rain tomorrow, and it's like 9 p.m. right now on Saturday, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of wrap things up. I've got the line going. Um, pretty much I just have to make the slats and then kind of tuck them in and then I'll do another piece of sheet metal on the back end just like on the other side but it's not too bad um, it's definitely more intimidating whenever you cut into it and you see the inside of your Jeep so if you have any questions just leave those down below and I'll do my best to answer them um, but it's, it's turned out really well and I'm happy with the clearance I've done a few trips with that other fender finished and uh, definitely definitely has a bunch of clearance I feel like I might even go to 37, who knows, but um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I've got an idea, and I'm, I'm about to possibly pick up an old diesel truck, so it's a 7.3, and we're going to go ahead and build that, so it'll be a custom flatbed, probably go through the whole frame, um, it's got a little bit of damage to the fender, so, it's, so I'll be sourcing all that stuff out, and then we'll do some cool custom uh, DIY paint job on it, and I think that could be a really cool build. So if you're interested in that, probably be a custom flatbed, and then I'll build an aluminum pod that can go on the back and trap down. Uh, that would be a camper with AC, kitchen, bed, everything like that. And that'll definitely obviously come later, but if you guys would like to see that build on the channel, go ahead and leave a comment, let me know. I'm a big diesel fan, I used to have a 12 valve Cummins, and so I have the opportunity to do this, and I've been working on it. I think I'm about to bring it home. So I'm getting pretty excited and it's going to be a big build, but if you guys are interested in that, go ahead and leave a comment let me know. Uh, I'm still looking for a WJ, they're kind of pricey right now. Uh, so we're looking for kind of a cheaper one, maybe an engine swap or something like that. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm going to work on getting more videos up for you guys. Uh, work's been kind of busy, but I've got a few trips planned, so stay tuned for the next one.